Hello and welcome everyone to a Khan Academy tutorial. I am Mr. West and this is Rotate Points, the basic version. Here we have point R was rotated about the center shown by 270 degrees clockwise. What, which point is the image of R? Okay, now we're gonna highlight a couple things here. Number one, R, this is what we call our pre-image. That means before a transformation. In this case, we're talking about rotations, which is a type of geometric transformation. So pre-image, think before it goes through rotation. All right, now a couple things about rotations. Okay, it says rotate. Rotations maintain the distance from the center. So imagine this is like lassoed to this pole and this rope will not change uh, the length, but it will change where it goes. In this case, we're going 270 degrees clockwise. Okay, a couple things about clockwise and counterclockwise rotations. Number one, if we're talking about counterclockwise, technically these are the positive rotations. So positive 190 degrees would look like that. A negative 270 would be over here this way. See how you get to the same point. So a positive 90 is the same as a negative 270. The opposite is also true. If we have a positive 270, that is the same as a negative 90, okay? Now, positive rotations are counterclockwise, negative rotations are clockwise. Oops. Okay, yeah, so this would be, this would be, red is clockwise here, so that is a negative rotation. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is if you go 180 degrees, either negative or positive, you get to the same location. I just wanted to have a little bit of background inf information when we're talking about positive and negative degree rotations. The cool thing uh, to imagine here when you're talking about 90 and 270 is we're talking about increments of 90 degrees. So if we're going 270 degrees, we're going basically three times 90 degrees. We're going one, two, three, 90 degrees, three times. Let's go ahead and demonstrate what that looks like. So 270 clockwise. 270 clockwise, well, we already determined this. 270 clockwise is this one right here. It's the same thing as 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now you can do the 270 degrees uh, Clockwise if you want. I think it's easier to compare it to a 90 degree reference angle and only do the counterclockwise portion of that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start working my way counterclockwise, as you can see here, counterclockwise, and I wanna make sure that's a 90 degree angle. It looks like we are gonna end up on point D as our reflection, which we should call R prime. So R prime is gonna land on point D because that is 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. The same thing, it's an equivalent of 270 degrees clockwise, this one right here, and we arrive at the same spot, point D, final answer. All right, next question. Figure R, that little arrow, was rotated about the origin, zero, zero, that's the origin, by 270 degrees clockwise. Now, what did I say before? 270 degrees clockwise is the same thing as 90 degrees counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is this direction, boom, like that. So 90 degrees counterclockwise, instead of doing this whole uh, clock, 270 degrees clockwise rotation like that, okay? And I'm talking about that specific point right there. Oh, whoops. Okay, now which of these is the option? Well, I like to always, don't think about the whole picture, only think about a point, and it's way easier. So only think about this tip right here that's on zero comma seven. If we're gonna rotate that 270 degrees, okay, like that, I already said that's the hard way to do it. The easy way to do it is go 90 degrees in the opposite direction, so counterclockwise. So like this, we end up at a point that's 90 degrees, okay, like this. If you're gonna connect the new spot with the old spot, it's gotta form 90 degrees right there. So we need to look for an arrow point that's on that negative seven zero, okay? So where is that? Uh-huh, it looks like option C, where that's the only one that has that tip in that position, and that's a 90 degree rotation counterclockwise, which is the equivalent of 270 degree clockwise. So let me just show you what it looks like. Uh, let me erase this, just so you can see the 270. So 270, you start at this point, you go 290, 180, 270 to get there. And again, 90 the other way when you get to the same spot. Okay, next 
next question. Rotated 90 degrees clockwise about the center of rotation. This one we have the 90, that's easy to do, so we're just gonna go 90 degrees clockwise. Here's our center, here's point P. We're gonna connect the two. Sorry, let me erase that. Okay, like this. We need a 90 degree angle, so a 90 degree angle like this because we're going clockwise that direction. Clearly it's A. B is a bad choice because it makes an acute angle. That looks 90 degrees to me. Not sure why I use the highlighter there, but point A is the correct answer. And we're on our last question. Figure Q was rotated about the origin, 270 degrees. Counterclockwise, so that's the equivalent of what? Counterclockwise, 270. Clockwise, 90. Okay, so this is the same thing as 90 clockwise. Now, focus on a point. So in this case, uh, one that looks different than all the others is, I'm gonna choose one on the line. That's usually the easiest to do. That's the point one comma zero. So if I rotate that 90 degrees clockwise, I'm going this way. So I'm gonna arrive at that point right there. That forms a 90 degree. These axes help us form these 90 degrees nice and easy. That's why I chose a point on the line. So I need my little bump, this little bump in there to be on the y-axis below. That one's not, that one's not, that one's not, this one is, okay? Another way to think of it, look at this point here. If I draw a line there, I know 90 degrees looks something like that. So it's gotta be in this quadrant somewhere as I rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So this is also the, the same, and I talked about that one already. So it's option D, there we go. That's all there is to it version of rotating points hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching be sure to check out some of the other videos i have on this channel and be sure to reach out for help in a comment below if you need any more assistance with any other math topic looking forward to seeing you there